Good morning. <clears throat> it's day 24 on the Appalachian Trail, and I'm about to go up basically a six mile climb. The first uh, four miles or so were kind of rolly, but mostly downhill and kind of un uneventful. Had a snack, drank some water, kind of, yeah, the beat goes on. And uh, I figured I might as well introduce the day before I get too deep into the climb. Um, but this doesn't seem like it's going to be a nasty climb. I think there's going to be a lot of short ups with some stretches across. So hopefully, hopefully not too bad. I'm trying to go as slow as I can right now so I can record and not lose my breath. But it looks like we're doing about 16 miles. We have a few days before we get to uh, Irwin, Tennessee, where I'll get my resupply, etc. Last night I was awoken to probably three or four mice in the shelter who were just kind of chomping on something. And I don't know whose bag it was, but I feel like one of them was in my bag, I left my backpack open. Not that there's anything for them to eat, but I think sometimes they just like chewing on stuff. But yeah, I did, I slept in, an, in the shelter again. I gotta, probably tonight I'll end up uh, sleeping in my tent again. And it's been a long time, it's been over a week since before the Smokies, it was at Fontana shelter. But one thing we will do today is going to cross over 300 miles, which is a big milestone, almost one seventh of the way to Katahdin. Uh, but yeah, so things are going good. My shin is better. I did not take any medicine for it today so testing it out and it seems to be doing okay and uh but yeah good morning How are you? good <laughs> he's recording yeah. <laughs> um so i didn't take any medicine for it today uh and it's doing okay my swelling as far as the edema is doing okay my carnivore is back on track uh, I did add for fat I added some peanut peanut butter and I know that's not carnivore but the we talked about how it's based on availability that is what is the biggest difficult difficulty for somebody who's following a carnivore or ketovore diet um, everything is stocked full of sugary foods, and I don't really want to do that. But peanut butter, I gave myself the go on that because that gives me some a good punch of some protein and fat. And yes, it does have some carbs, but they're more, call it natural. I don't buy the sugary peanut butter. So I'm going to be climbing for a while and... I'll report back as uh, as interest or interesting things unfold. So yeah, I'll give you a look at the trail behind. Uh, so see you in a bit. So here it is. We made it to the top of Blackstack. This is a nice view all the way on the Tennessee side. I don't know if you can hear me. It's kind of windy, but take a look over here. Beautiful views. And there is a controlled burn going on right down there. All right, check in later. So, yeah, I knew I was going to be able to show you some 
grandeur of the mountains going up over this narrow ridge. And oh, you can see that way. You can see that way. And then I'm just gonna be following this ridge for a little bit. This is, uh, this is open, quote, open during good weather. And then there's also a bad weather bypass um, if you don't want to get up here and be exposed by the ridge. Because this could be, you know, winds whipping at 60 miles an hour up over these mountains. It just gets pretty uh, precarious. But it is... It is nice. I don't know if you can see behind me all the, the rocks that you have to crawl over. Uh, and then the rhododendrons. It's like we're living in a little rhododendron hedge, which is really cool. But then this is called behind me Howard's Rock. And apparently Howard stood there and named it after himself. Apparently I was, apparently I was full, but this is quite a drop off and there's a nice town down there. But yeah, we are getting very close to the 300 mile mark of the trail. I think it's coming up in less than a half hour, half mile, and I will show you when we get there. So here is mile 300. Ah. I think that's backwards in your camera, but this is the direction I'm going to go. Uh, I will see you guys at camp. Little signs of spring. So today I've been thinking a lot about milestones and we hit mile 300, it's a big deal. And so I was thinking, you know, what sort of milestones? I mean, this whole thing is kind of measured in time and distance. It's also measured in experiences, but that's really not my focus right now. <laughs> it was a nice ridge that we went over and just exposed on both sides. You get to see all, you know, sorts of beautiful mountains surrounding you. But I was thinking of, you know, every week we look for the next hostel or resupply as a milestone on a weekly basis. Every Wednesday to Tuesday is another milestone. The numbers are for 300 and then 400 will be coming up and then the state milestones and right now I'm in Tennessee and for the most part North Carolina is done I believe there was one small tiny little section where we bounce into and then out of North Carolina for I don't know, a split second in the grand scheme of things so that's what I was thinking about I'm only a few minutes from the uh, the shelter. I'll set up camp, eat some food, change my clothes, hang my bear bag, and socialize for a few minutes, and then jump in my warm sleeping bag and go to sleep. Today, I just feel like this is a long one. But if you haven't already, subscribe, like, share, and I'll see you tomorrow.